Check this out. No matter what app I'm using, I can just long press the lock button and bam, this universal search bar pops up. From there, the sky's the limit. I can quickly switch to another app, Google something on the fly, open any system setting, contact someone, or even have it solve math equations or do unit conversions, all without ever needing to jump to the home screen. The magic behind it, an app called Launchpad Search. And the best part is that it just replaces your digital assistant, no root, no random mods needed, nada. Oh, and it's completely free with no ads or sneaky in-app purchases. Plus, the wildest thing about this app is that it only has around 50 downloads on the Play Store. Like, how? Thank goodness the developer recommended it to me over on my Reddit page at r slash howtomen. If you've also got an app suggestion, drop it there too. If I pick yours, I'll give you a shout out in the next episode. It's 2025 and somehow most Android phones still have very weak native audio support. Like most of them don't even have a proper built-in equalizer. Samsung, of course, is the only exception. So for my other phones, I use Echo Equalizer. And yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. You can crank up the bass, tweak the loudness, pick presets for your go-to music genre, whatever, and it works throughout the entire system for any app, including Spotify, YouTube, TikTok, you name it. No root or mods are needed, and unlike other equalizer apps, this one has zero ads, zero paywalls, and no sketchy permissions. Just a simple way to improve your device's audio quality. And hey, those are just two out of the 20 apps that I'm showcasing this month for the best Android apps of April 2025. Nope, that's not an April Fool's joke. I'm actually showing off 20 apps instead of the usual 15. Last month, I told you guys that if the March episode hit 10,000 likes, I'd bump it up to 20 apps this time. And well, you guys delivered, so here we are. And trust me, you're also gonna wanna stick around to the end because as always, I've saved the best app for last. All right, here's another cool little trick that I set up on my phone. Whenever I get a message and I'm just sitting there like, how do I even respond to this? I can just tap on this little icon in the text field and bam, it'll instantly generate a bunch of reply options for me. And I can tweak the tone too, uh, like making it funnier, more flirty, sound like a Gen Z who lives on TikTok, whatever you want. Plus, if you need something even more specific, like the perfect tweet, an email response, or just an Instagram caption, just tell the AI what you're going for and it'll hook you up. And the best part is that it shows up within most text fields that you use. The app is called AI Input and it works great. Though, just a heads up, some messaging apps handle it better than others. Instagram, WhatsApp, and a few other apps work more flawlessly than others, so just keep that in mind. Now look, don't get me wrong, Android's built-in hotspot feature is fine, but Delta makes it way better by giving you more control. It adds extra features like letting you limit how many devices can connect, set the exact time of when it should auto shut down if no devices are connected, or you can even hide your hotspot completely so that only people who know the exact name can join. And the developers are not stopping there. They're also planning on adding even more features like usage limits, time connections, and localization features in the future. Plus, it's even open source and free, so why not? The only catch is that you'll need to enable it using the Shizuku app. But don't worry, I'll link a tutorial in the YouTube cards if you need help. Next up, remind me using Call. I know, I know, another reminder app. But this one's different because it doesn't just give you a boring notification that you can easily miss. Instead, it literally calls your phone to remind you of what you need to do. You need to get the milk. It honestly feels like having a personal assistant and it can come in handy if you really don't want to miss something important. Now, just to be clear, it's not actually calling your phone. The developer just made it look like an incoming call with an interface that you can answer or reject. But that's actually a plus because it doesn't use mobile data, doesn't need the internet, and still works great for reminders. Also, quick side note, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you keep coming back for these monthly episodes, why not just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell? Finding these underground apps isn't easy and every new subscriber seriously keeps me motivated. Either way, I appreciate you guys, let's keep it going. I know you're probably tired of hearing about AI cause it's literally everywhere now, but let's be real, it's getting insanely hard to tell whether a photo is real or AI generated. The same thing goes for all the stuff we read online. How do we even know what's true anymore? That's where fake out comes in. 
Just upload any picture and it'll straight up tell you if it's AI generated with a percentage score. You can even type in stuff you read online to fact check it against legit sources. Now, I won't lie, sometimes it draws a blank on certain things, but it works most of the time. All right, who hasn't been in the situation? You record a perfect video for Instagram and then you realize, oh crap, my license plate is clearly visible. Or maybe your kid ran through the background in their pajamas. Enter Put Mask. This thing is magic because it lets you blur out anything in your videos, even moving objects, with zero editing skills needed. You just import your video, and if it's something like a face or a license plate, uh, the app can automatically detect and track it for you. If that's not what you need to track or it doesn't work as perfectly, you can manually add a tracker and resize it over what you want to blur. Then you can let the app track the item. Then you can hit the icon to enable the blur and see it. And finally, you can export the video within the export tab. It's that easy. Now, the only catch is that the free version exports at a lower resolution and also leaves you with a smaller watermark in the corner. To remove those, you'll need the full version, which costs $2.49 per month or $30 for the lifetime access. But here's the cool part. I reached out to the developer and he hooked me up with 75 lifetime promo codes for free. If you want one, just head over to my Patreon where you can get it for way cheaper than paying the full $30. Pretty awesome. Okay, let me tell you about this hidden gem I first talked about three years ago. It's called AnyTracker, and the reason I'm bringing it up again is because it's just gotten a huge redesign and better features. Plus, I know most of you probably haven't even heard of it before. It basically lets you track the price of anything online. Perfect for those third-party retail websites that don't have built-in price tracking. Just grab the link of the item that you want to track, then you can add that link within the app by pressing the plus icon and then tapping on website, and then you can paste it in there. Once you hit the enter key, it'll launch the website up. Highlight the price and turn on notifications so you can get an alert when the price changes. That's it. It's way better than Chrome's built-in tracker, which doesn't work for every site out there. Now, the free version is a little limited in how many items you can track, but thanks to the developer, I also just dropped 100 promo codes for it on my Patreon for the Platinum Plan, which gives you unlimited tracking and better frequency update tracking. So grab them while you can. This next one is just for Pixel users, so if you're not rocking a Google Pixel, go ahead and skip to the next app. Anyway, if you're running the latest Android 15 QPR beta build, or even Android 16, you've probably noticed Google decided to bury the Do Not Disturb mode toggle within the quick settings under this new mode thing. So now it takes two taps instead of just one. Well, Simple DND fixes that. It brings back the old school one tap tile for Do Not Disturb. You're welcome. If you've ever been to a concert, event, or convention, you've probably had to deal with QR codes just to get in. And if you're not super organized, keeping track of them can be a nightmare, especially if you need them months in advance. Well, Wear Socials fixes that by letting you keep all your codes in one place so you can easily find them later on. And it's not just for event tickets too. You can create QR codes for your Wi-Fi network so friends can scan it instead of just asking for the password. You can save your Venmo QR code to make splitting the bill easier. You can even generate QR codes for your social media so people can scan and follow you more instantly. Plus, I even love that the app works with your smartwatch, meaning that you don't even need to pull out your phone to access all of your saved codes. Super convenient. Next, we have Insta Archive, a simple but super useful app that lets you save an Instagram post or story to your phone, even if it's not yours. Here's how easy it is. Just share the post link to the app, tap Archive, and then just hit Download. That's it works like a charm. I know some of you are still waiting for One UI 7 to hit your Samsung phones. Seriously, what's taking so long? But guess what? You don't have to wait to get those slick new widgets. With One UI 7 KWGT, you can get that fresh One UI 7 look right now on any phone. We're talking weather widgets, those cool pill-shaped calendar widgets, the now brief, battery indicators, even some bonus ones that aren't in One UI but look like they should be. Heads up though, it does cost $1.50 to download and you'll need the KWGT Pro app to make it work. But good news, I also just reached out to the developer and he gave me 100 promo codes to drop on my Patreon. So there you go. 
If you've been using WhatsApp for years, you probably have a ton of useless junk stored. Old memes, low quality videos, duplicate images, random GIFs, you name it. And every time you switch phones, it all comes back when you restore your chat history. Well, WhatsApp Cleaner is here to save the day. It lets you sort through your WhatsApp files and lets you delete all the unnecessary ones and even check which files are taking up the most space. Plus, it's completely free and open source, no catches. Another one that makes cleaning fun is Sponge. It's like Tinder for your gallery photos. Swipe right to keep, left to delete. I know where you're thinking, that, that's gonna take forever. But trust me, seeing each photo full screen makes it way easier to decide what stays and what goes. It's surprisingly satisfying too. Don't knock it till you try it. If you're always keeping an eye on your data usage, you need to check out Data Monitor. It's my go-to app for tracking both Wi-Fi and mobile data usage. It shows you your weekly data in a simple graph. It tells you which apps are being data hogs, looking at you, Spotify and Instagram, and even gives you a home screen widget so that you never go over your limit. It even has an ongoing notification that displays your daily usage, which is insanely useful. And for the cherry on top, it's completely free and open source. If you're into space photography, you're going to love Starleo. It basically grabs all of NASA's official latest space photos, which they have on a website, and it lets you add them as a wallpaper on your phone. And some of these images are absolutely mind blowing. Inside the app, you can browse through all of them, and when you tap on one, it'll even give you a detailed explanation of what you're looking at. You can even favorite the best ones and jump to a specific date to see what NASA posted on that day. It's like having a little piece of the cosmos on your phone every day. If you wanna make your photos or screenshots pop on social media, you've gotta check out TrueShot. It lets you upload any image and instantly enhance it with a gradient background, shadows, tilt, padding adjustments, and more. You can even change the aspect ratio to match the platform you're posting on. It's also free to download, so why not? Next, we have Calentile. This bad boy puts your next calendar event right in your quick settings. One tap and you can see all your upcoming stuff. And the genius part is that the menu even blends perfectly with your phone's theme and it even looks like Google made it themselves. I'm not sure why Google doesn't have a quick setting tile like this. Android 16 is almost here and in my last video, which I'll link in the cards, I covered all of its upcoming features. One of them is a simple but useful setting called time zone change. It sends you a notification whenever your phone automatically updates your time zone so you're never caught off guard while traveling. Well, you don't have to wait for Android 16 to get this feature. You can just download TZ Notify and boom, you've got the same exact functionality right now. If you're someone who travels a lot, this is a must have. Now, the best app on this entire list is called Gadget Bridge. If you own a Bluetooth device like a smartwatch, fitness tracker, or headphones, Gadget Bridge might be able to fully control them without needing the official vendor app. That means you can ditch the company's closed sourced app uh, avoid potential data tracking, skip annoying subscription pushes, and even stop creating unnecessary accounts. For example, I was able to pair my Nothing Ear headphones to it, so I don't even need to download the Nothing X app anymore. I can still check the battery level, find my headset, and even change the noise cancellation settings all from Gadget Bridge. Same with my Galaxy Buds Pro. I can customize touch controls and other settings without using the Galaxy wearable app. Gadget Bridge even works with certain smartwatches, letting you receive notifications, control music, and track health data, all without the vendor's app. Now, it doesn't support every Bluetooth device out there, but you can check their official website for a list of compatible devices. Anyway, tap this video if you happen to miss the last episode of the best Android apps, or check out this one to learn about every single new feature coming to Android 16. And hey, if you download at least one app, do me a favor, drop me a thumbs up, it really helps out the channel. Thanks for sticking around till the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!